The new parts have arrived from the factory without issue. They'll be fitted to the car in time for the next session. The fascinating Sochi Autodrom in Russia for what is expected to be a compelling race weekend. Well, it all begins today with practice. So, Anthony, lots to do, of course, in these sessions, lots of programs to run. What are you looking for when you jump in the car for free practice? Well, you have basic checks, first of all. You know, is the car working correctly? What are the track conditions like? And you'll be chasing that as the session goes on, things like that. Then you start getting into the nitty gritty of it all and they become more like test sessions where it's all about gathering new data, testing components, tweaking the setup and so on. So there's only so much actual practice that these drivers need. Most of them will be plenty familiar enough with the track layout, either from previous experience or from the simulator. Program complete and a job well done. We got some excellent data with that. Test complete, and that was a very good job indeed. We got a lot of that. It's our primary target time. out there you must be really happy you really went all out in practice today are you testing new components you left some body work out there on the track were you struggling for grip appreciate your time one fans where qualifying will be starting in the next few minutes as the teams prepare to get out on track at the Sochi Autodrom here in Russia. This is the kind of track that eats rear tyres for breakfast, or so I'm told by more experienced drivers than myself. Lots of low speed exits means the rears are in for a lot of punishment. It's all too easy to spin them up coming out of a corner too aggressively. It might look great for us as spectators, as we love to see a car driven beyond its limits, but it's not going to result in a great long run pace.
Welcome one and all to the Russian Grand Prix. We're just a stone's throw from the Georgian border here at Sochi as we get ready to begin the race that served up an absolute cracker back in 2015. A last lap collision between Kimi Raikkonen and Valtteri Bottas sparked controversy in that race, so let's hope the racing is just as tight today. Built on the shores of the Black Sea, the Sochi Autodrome is a 3.6 mile tour around some of the venues built for the 2014 Winter Olympic Games. Close barriers may make overtakes more challenging, but with 56% of the lap taken absolutely flat out, we certainly won't be wanting for pure speed. A fitting arena then to do battle at the pinnacle of motorsport. So before the off, let's remind ourselves of yesterday's qualifying session with a look at the starting grid. Sebastian Vettel will start on pole. Fantastic qualifying from the multiple world champion. And it's Valtteri Bottas that completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Ricardo, Perez, Roman Grosjean, Crofty, Hamilton. They've taken a grid penalty. Raikkonen, Verstappen and Carlos Sainz. Ocon, Gasly, Fernando Alonso and Magnussen. Leclerc, Hülkenberg, Lance Stroll and Marcus Ericsson. Sirotkin and Brendan Hartley rounds off the grid. Now it's almost time to lights out, so let's go down to the track.
safety car is ending, maintain your pace until the green flag. VSC ending, wait for green. Check your MFD for a new strategy. over, take care of the car on the way in. Well, what a drive that was to take the win for Ferrari today. And Anthony Davidson, give me your thoughts. How did they accomplish this result? I think a large part of the result comes down to temperament. They were able to keep their heads when everyone around them was losing theirs. And that's allowed them to get the best out of the car, to maximise the strategy and to stay out of trouble. So, here they come now, out onto the podium. Wherever you go, anywhere in the world, the prancing horse flags are dominant in the grandstands and they're out in force again today. It's Ferrari on the top step once more. It's time to see how this result affects the Drivers' Championship. Sebastian Vettel takes over the lead of the Drivers' Championship after that excellent result. And now I'd like to ask you, Anthony Davidson, who was your driver of the day? Well, I think it has to be Fernando Alonso. He got the strategy spot on and consistently had the pace to come through as well. And here's how... Great work out there today. How do you think it went? You really looked in control of your car out there. Your team must be thrilled. Did you have the wrong fuel strategy today, or was it your management? Appreciate your time. Excellent result today. Finishes like that will look good on your contract reviews. On to the next one. It's time for us to renegotiate your contract. Here you can see the current deal. Once negotiations begin, the team will make you an offer. You can accept if you like, but I strongly suggest we push for better terms. We're asking for too much here. We need to make some compromises. All right, the terms have been agreed. All that's left is to sign the paperwork. You'll be on this new deal from the next race weekend.